Speaking of receptionist, receptionist, I have had a cup to Jesus with myself and realized that I need to hire a real receptionist. So now we have, dun da da da, Jose. Smoking. Yes, thank you, Kim. Smoking. That was worth yeah. the wait. So in this episode, we have the China and Vivica Fox debacle. <gasps> debacle is a good word. I just don't get it. We can, be, we can be honest with ourselves. If this isn't gonna work, we can just pull the plug. We don't have, have to go into what's not gonna work. Because it seems like it's yeah. like everything that I'm asking you to do that I gave you this way yesterday, it's like not happening. I'm starting to lose patience. You were there. You saw it. She was Did there. She had a hand in it. Girl, did it get ugly? I mean, ugly is not the word. Oh, Lord. It my like... reputation of us a lot, God, why? Let's just say I saw more Frankie from Set It Off than I saw Vivica Fox. Oh. That's what I would like to say. China thinks that that whole day was my fault. No, not the, I don't think the whole day has something to do with the statement that you made, but I think you, you threw 10 buckets of gas on the fire, the, the simmering fire that could have been there. But why did she but why did she ask me to stay? She said, China, you can leave. Because you were doing to stay. You, because you were doing her nails. Her nails were done. Okay, but she didn't change her nails? If she wanted She obviously to. needed you to do her nails for some reason. And if I said this everything woman needs up, to learn about accountability. But but if I set everything up and all she has to do is sit there and get them done for free, why would she not want you to stay? Why would she not? Weren't you doing her hair for free? Exactly. But I'm talking about you. She One asked you to there, stay. Buddy, buddy. No, she asked you to stay, though. The next minute, they're at each other's throats. LA hair. <laughs> Season two. <laughs> <laughs>